G'day and welcome to this bonus episode of Top Gear GTA, where I'm going to be showing you how to make the Top Gear GTA intro video. Alright, now the first thing we have to do is you need to obtain both of these images. The first one is a Top Gear reference image, and the second one is a saw blade, as you can see here. Now both of these I'm going to provide a link for on the right, so make sure you check them out. And that's basically all we need, so let's get started. Okay, the first step is to make a new composition. So click on the New Composition button. Now here, because I'm in Australia, I'm using the PAL DV widescreen square pixel. Now you may have to use an NTSC one as well. Alright, but for, for the purposes of what I'm doing, I'm using this one. Now let's call this one Top Year Intro. Okay, it doesn't really matter what the length is, although I think it's a bit long, but that's alright. Alright, now Let's grab our saw blade and drop it in. Okay, so we've got this one here. Okay, now as you can see, it doesn't look a whole lot like the Top Gear wheel, but that's all right, we're going to change that in a second. Now drop down the Top Gear intro. All right, now selecting this one, now let's resize this image until it's about the same height as the wheel that we're trying to replicate. So bring that across here. Okay, that looks pretty close. Alright, now the first thing to do is to hit S once we've got the saw blade selected. So it's going to bring up the scale. Okay, now deselect the constraint proportions and then under here it should be at about 84 or something. Type a negative in there and then click on the lock. Okay, so as you can see that's now flipped it horizontally. Alright, now the next thing we have to do is we have to cut out the, that middle part. So if we come up here, where there's the rectangle tool, click and hold, go down to ellipse tool, like that, then we'll click on it. Alright, so now that's placed a mask around the outside. So now if we go down, twirl down the mask menus here, change that one to subtract, and then bring the mask expansion down. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to cut our way like that. Now what you need to do is change that to something around minus 65 or so, about there. Alright, and then one more thing in the mask, change the feathering to about 14. Okay, so we've created a softer edge in the middle there, which is going to help to hide a few things. Alright, now the next thing we have to do is colorize this thing. So if we go across to the effects and presets menu, if that's not there, you may have to try and find it in the window thing here. Okay, the first one is to type hue in here. Now with this one selected, double click on hue and saturation and that will add it to this layer. Okay, so go down and click on colorize. Change the colorize hue to 219. Change the saturation to 27 and leave the lightness where it is. The next thing we have to go down is go back across here and type glow. And then double click on there. Okay, so we've added a glow to here. Now it doesn't quite look the same, so we're going to have to change a couple of things. The glow threshold, change that one to 61. Change the glow radius to 0. And change the glow intensity to 0 0.3. Okay, so we're looking relatively similar now. Alright, now the last thing to do with this, as you know, is in the actual Top Gear intro, this thing is spinning around like crazy. Okay, so that's what we have to do to this one. So twirl these effects up, come back down, click on the saw blade, and hit R for rotation. Okay, now we're going to be typing an expression in here, but you know, if you haven't actually done expressions before in After Effects, don't worry, it's a fairly simple one. So hold down Alt and click on the little stopwatch here. That'll, that's going to bring up this little area here. So then you need to type time, times, or a little asterisk, 600, and hit enter. Basically what's that what that is telling After Effects is, whatever the time value is, so if it's one second, or however many frames, it has to multiply that by 600 into the rotation. So as you can see, if we move along here, the whole thing is rotating awfully quickly. So the one last thing to make it look convincing is if you hit the motion blur thing here and the motion blur thing here, 
we're going to get this nice looking spinning wheel. Alright, so that's the first part done. Okay, so we've got the wheel done. So the next step we have to do is try and make the top gear text. Alright, so shut that one off by clicking the little eye. Now in order to make the text line up with what I'm doing, we're going to have to change the scale of this. Alright, so hit S once you've got that selected, and then change that one, 67.9. So that's just going to shrink that one down. And while we're here, hit the letter T, which will bring up the opacity, and we can um, fade that one down just so we can see what's going on. All we really need is to be able to see the outlines of the letters. Alright, so if we come up to the text tool here, we can uh, click anywhere, and we can start typing. Okay, so what you need is the words top and gear with capitals at the start with no spaces. Now the font, and I'm actually pay attention to this, the font I'm using is Impact. Now as you can see, it doesn't quite look the same, but that's alright, we're going to make it almost identical. Change the size here up to 95, and then change the uh, tracking here to minus 36. Then you've got the uh, vertical height to 104, and then change this one to 164, and then click on bold. Alright, so now we've made it a fair bit larger. The only trouble is it's not actually slanting like the other one. Now we could always click the italics here, but it's not quite the same angle. And then, you know, it's actually quite easy to tell when it's not the same. Alright, so what we're going to do is if we zoom in here, let's um, move this so the these two areas match. Okay, so as you can see, the heights are the same. Now there's an effect, if we click back over here, called uh, CC Slant. So if you just want to type S-L-A-N-T and double click on that, it's a, uh, a tool that allows us to um, stretch things around like this. So what we have to do is, this is uh, an important little part of it here, we need to make that the same position as the position of the text. So if we click back down on top key down the bottom here, hit P for position, go down to here and then go edit copy well, once you've got the position selected. Um, twirl this up and then back down and then go to the effects, CC slant, select the floor and then go control V or edit paste. So what's that, what that's going to do is allow you to then stretch this one around like that. Alright, so, so this thing's just been moved there. Now what we have to do is with this slant, look, actually trying to match it with the angle that the top of your thing is on. So that looks fairly close right about there. Now it's not exactly the same, but when you turn this off, you won't be able to tell. Okay, so let's turn that one off. And that does look like the Top Gear text. Alright, so that's all for that part. So now we've created two of the elements. We've got the Top Gear text, and we've got the Top Gear spinning wheel. Now the final element we need to create is the Grand Theft Auto text itself. Alright, so I'm just going to click somewhere. Now for this part, what we need to do is change the font to a font called Price Down. I'm going to provide a link for it to the right. It's a free font, so don't worry about it. Alright, now the size isn't all that important. I've chosen somewhere around 60 something. And now we have to go and change these all back because we did change them for the top gear part. Okay, so 100, 100, and take off bold. Alright, so just type Grand Theft Auto. Then now you'll notice that there is a, um, a series of sort of lines and strokes around here. Basically, the way I did that was select my text, and then up here by default, it is set to just white text like that. Now there's nothing wrong with leaving it like that, but if you want to do it the way that I have done it, basically click on there, change that one to black, and then click across to the stroke, and change that to white. And then a 2.5 pixel stroke seems to work okay. Alright, so that's that text. Now the next thing we have to do is put it all together. 